I think it's kind of funny I got this car as but we like we started talking about Kyle Busch um, and like the gun issue and stuff from Mexico. Um, that's random, isn't it? But this again, this is getting very delayed. When I'm recording this, that's what's happening. So, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're gonna review Kyle Busch's 2023 Talladega win and the number eight RCR McLaren Custom Girl Chevrolet. Yep. Uh, wave six of the winner's circle wave from 2023. We have all the cars in this wave now, except for that Blaney body armor. So, I want to try and get that one soon, anyway, as well. But, um, let's get this thing out of the box. So, when I'm recording this, we're going into Darlington. So, if Kyle Busch wins this race, or that race, I will probably be posting this upload on that Sunday, or the closest upload date to that Sunday, because... I'll be so wrong because I'm going to act like he didn't make the playoffs this year because he's in a must win. I don't think our series going to have to speed at Darlington. Then again, they've had three weeks of actually good runs. So anyways, let's take a quick look at the trading card first here. Um, I'm trying to think the last time Kyle Busch won at Talladega. Um, it would have been in his like early Hendrick days, maybe early Gibbs days. He won under, They put a caution out for that. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, he led three laps. He led the final lap, basically. Um, only eight cautions, which is pretty wild. 196 laps of... You know what? It was overtime, wasn't it? Because usually Dega only goes 188, I think. So they probably had an overtime, maybe two. Um, yeah, I don't remember much of that race, actually. The only thing I remember is Bubba trying to make a block on Blaney on the final lap and wrecking himself. That was fun. That was fun. And Bubba also probably went to playoffs now. Hopefully he won Darlington or he had a really good run and Busher crashed. Let's take a look at the die cast though now. And um, beautiful car. I think they made this in the gold series. Not 100% sure, but um, I think the raceman also may have made a gold series as well. I'm not completely positive on that, but I'm like 70% sure. Um, what's going on here? I don't know. This is like just pushing up a little bit. I don't know. Um, anyways. A little bit of damage on the splitter, actually. That's pretty cool. Uh, a very confettied up car, though. I mean, it, it, it's packed with confetti. So let's try and read these sponsors as best as we can. Kyle Busch, Chevrolet, McLaren's Custom Grills, number eight, RCR, Sunoco, Goodyear, number eight, uh, NASCAR Cup Series, NASCAR 75 Years, McLaren Custom Grills, Bet MGM, Osco Uniforms, Cheddars, Rowdy, some contingencies on the B Pillar, Net Spent, Lenovo, a grill pretty cool um american ethanol fuel mclaren's i thought that was damage on this but that's just like mclaren custom girls logo camaro zl1e um uh, or something like that okuma chevrolet number eight mclaren's custom grill mclaren's custom grill number eight and that's it i think i think so um a little bit of uh, i don't know if this i think that's supposed to be like a i don't know what that I don't think that's supposed to be damage. Oh, yeah, that's damage. That's damage right there. Definitely damage. Um, this car is definitely hard to see, though, what race um, damage it has. Maybe a bit of a front end hit there. Nope, that's there on the car. That's weird. Um, it's, it's a bit of a weird uh, paint scheme, but it works. Um, I think they're running pretty much the same paint scheme um, again this year. I could be completely wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure. Um, nothing else crazy. Um, everything looks pretty clean on the right side. Again, a bit of, um, front splitter damage, perhaps. Maybe just debris or stuff from the burnout. The back end's pretty clean as well. Uh, they should have a wind sticker on here. They have two on here, don't they? Yep. Um, this is the one thing I don't like about Lionel sometimes. Because this is, this was Bush's second one of the season. I don't like, half the time they don't add... The winner circle or the winner sticker um like here it's not on the trex after he won but it's on here after he bush once so, like i honestly just wish they would put the wind sticker on like take if you can get the reference photos after he puts the winner circle on winner sticker on then do that please because i think it kind of it may, it confuses me so many times um like with the hamlin um kansas one i don't know what win it was because the I don't think the winner stickers are correct or something not correct but like I don't know if it's before or after that he put it on that that car the car reference photos were made 
and usually they also post a picture of when they put the sticker on, so I'd honestly just, like, guess. Like, come on. I, I don't think we're gonna care too much about the sticker. Um, like, if you're flipping it when they didn't flip it, obviously, but usually people know that, and they always post on Instagram when they flip, like, the sticker and stuff. Um, but definitely pick up if you can get it. I don't see the roof... I, I just mentioned this, actually, on the Ryan Turex review. I like the roof hatch, but I don't see the roof hatch in this paint scheme. Which is weird because this is a Super Speedway and I believe they made all the cars have a roof hatch on the Super Speedways. So, what's going on there? I know. Because I don't, I don't even feel it. And I think I felt it on the Truex. Very minorly, but yeah, I don't, I don't feel it on there. And I don't see it either. Um, so that's a little disappointing, but wh whatever. Um, this is, I need to get the clean version of this car because this is very confusing to see. This looks like... People are vacuuming. Um, this looks like the 4th of July or something in here. What, what is going on? Um, but yeah, nothing much else to say. Kyle Busch, don't know what he's going to do this year now that he hasn't won. Um, hasn't won. Bubbles hasn't won. So, yeah. Oh, God. It's, it's a painful thing being a Bubba fan, but I'm not even going to get into that. Kyle Busch fans have had it rough this year. Hopefully he gets a win even after the playoffs. Um, just to keep continuing that win streak. That the whole yeah. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to see you in another video. I don't know why I'm sorry. Anyways, peace out.